podcast, but uh, here is the piece on America. We've already become a dictatorship. Here it is. The cogent rhetoric of revolution hung heavy in the air in the nation's capital overnight. There is one last thing to which the people can resort if the government does not uh, respect the uh, the the restraints that the Constitution places on the government. Abraham Lincoln talked about our, our right to uh, alter our government or a revolutionary right to overthrow it. And that is certainly something that no one wants to contemplate. That. The House Judiciary Committee heard from a panel of legal scholars on the constitutionality and legality of actions taken by the Obama administration, focusing on the feeble mandates and the Affordable Care Act and the enforcement of the short-sighted immigration laws. We have to repair a broken immigration system. And that this progress is only possible when we do it together. You can, if you can dispense with immigration laws or marijuana laws or mandatory minimums, can you also dispense with election laws? I, I, again, I think we've, we've gone over this ground many times. Well, it's humor. Let's do it one more time. Can the president suspend election laws? No. Why not? If he can suspend mandatory minimum and immigration laws, why not election laws? Because we live, we live in, a, uh, in, a, in a government of laws, and the president is bound to obey them and apply them. There was a fight with James I uh, about what was called the royal prerogative. Uh, it's very similar to what uh, President Obama is claiming, the right of the king to essentially stand above the law. The growing assertion of power by this president to do things to change laws, uh, that's not his responsibility. That's the Congress's clearly delegated responsibility to write the laws. But even with Obamacare, uh, his signature legislation, when he finds things in it that he doesn't like, he rewrites the law, even though the law itself doesn't give him any authority to do that. George Washington Law School professor Jonathan Turley weighed in on the perishing of the legislative branch. Is that it's not only being circumvented, but it is also being denied the ability to enforce its inherent powers. Many of these questions are not close in my view. The president is outside the line. But it has to go in front of a court, and that court has to grant review. And that's where we have the most serious constitutional crisis I view in my lifetime. And that is this body is becoming less and less relevant. Clearly, a criminal administration is holding our highest seats of power hostage. When will the government of the people, by the people, for the people, wield the hammer of justice rather than simply discuss the laundry list of tyranny in the nation's capital? For the InfoWars Nightly News, John Bound reporting. <laughs> In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 19